I don't know about you guys, but this kind of feels like deja vu. You know what I'm saying? Like Asuna and Kirito and this Asuna and Kirito and like we got the same Asuna and Kirito last year? Like, no, seriously. It's the same Asuna and Kirito. Let's go check. They were non elemental last year. And this time they're non elemental too. Yo! Bamco, they're seriously recycling so many things. What is this? Uh, no, this is unacceptable. Like, uh, just like last year. It was around this time too. Like, we got uh, an Asuna and Kirito, like, before Valentine's event. Because Valentine's event is probably gonna come, like, in two weeks or something like that. And right now, we're getting an Asuna and Kirito. Uh, I don't know how to feel about this one. But uh, let's go check them out, you know? Mm, what is it called? Love is a labyrinth. Eh, that's cringe. Yikes. Okay, I'm not rolling for them. Like, just because of that name, I'm not gonna roll for him. Oh, Kirito's name is not bad, Craft Slash. I'm just gonna roll for Kirito. But wait, let's check what they do. So, special partner Asuna. Okay, obviously, they're each other's special partner. Do we really need to read this? Uh, let's go read it, you know. Fills up one step in the ring, flash field, winning this mode, get to video, break, still have a better. Okay, let's not read this, okay? I don't have to read this bullshit. Why do, I, why do I bother reading this? I don't know. Uh, cross slash give it. Oh! He's uh, another dual blades character. Yo, actually, right now I have so many dual blades characters. Like, every Kirito is dual blades. We have more dual blades Kirito than we have uh, Silicas. Yeah, literally. What is this? You have dual blades for every element, I think. We have Earth Elemental Kirito, Fire Elemental Kirito, Non Elemental. Right now he's gonna come. We have like wind elemental. I think we don't have wind elemental. Yeah, we don't have wind elemental Kirito, or maybe you do. Well, you know it does matter. We have uh, many Kirito, so it doesn't even matter. And he has emote. All right. If he has emote, he's gonna be broken. He's Bay. So like with emote, he's gonna be broken. But is he gonna be very broken or just broken? The stats are gonna tell us. Let's go. Oh! 2340 that's very high and like recently they've been releasing so many characters with very high attack actually because you know before the highest used to be 2320 i think it was escon but like for the past six characters or eight characters something like that they've been giving them very high attack like over 2320 so like they're all broken i guess that's a good thing or maybe it's a bad thing uh i think it's a bad thing because that makes old characters even more useless and the new characters they're even more broken so, like, you need to roll for the new character. So, yeah, Bamco is trying to make money here. And his stats, like, attack is very high. HP is above average. Speed is above average too, 313. And everything is above average. And his attack is very high. So, it's gonna be good, I think. And he has E mode. So, it's looking perfect. Let's check his skills. Ah, shit. Recycled animations as usual. Inferno Raid. Literally every dual blade character has it. And dual liberation. Every dual blade character has it. Oh, of course. And all you know, his brick skills gonna be 20% debuff okay that's nice his core is debuff and on his assault increased damage it is recollection field is at step 3 or more so I think it's gonna be uh, about recollection field he's gonna rely on recollection field but we don't have any characters that do recollection field for non-elemental I think maybe we have a free character like Halloween Tease I think she has plus 3 recollection field on her incarnate but that's the only one that give you plus 3 recollection field other characters don't have it like they have plus 1 on their regular abilities and that's it so I guess it means we have another viable free character. Like if you want to go for recollection field team, then use Halloween Tease if you have her. Let's check his emote. Oh, on his emote he has plus one recollection field, so he can give you plus one recollection field. It's not bad. And oh, nice! His incarnate. I thought they were gonna give him like uh, Starburst Stream, but it's accelerating cross slash. Like if they gave him Starburst Stream, <laughs> Starburst Stream, then I would be mad because already have uh, Kirito with Starburst Stream, and they're probably gonna recycle the animation so no thank you i don't want starburst dream and let's check his emote effect maybe his bonus effect oh wait oh he gets bonus break you see here with emote is 60 percent but regular is 15 percent i mean 15 not 15 so yeah that's huge if you slap a break here on him it's gonna be broken and for his other skills i don't think he gets any bonus effects maybe on his incarnate yeah on his incarnate it becomes super strong but uh, if you don't use emote, it's just slash attack, it's not super strong. So his emote is very good actually, and his Imaginarium is cringe. Like, decrease required MP by 2.5%, you don't really need that. Cause like, you just need to equip a weapon that reduces your MP consumption, and that's it. Cause like, uh, the battles, they don't last very long, so I don't know. And now let's go for Asuna. Hey! Oh! Wait! Don't tell me, no. Okay, here we're gonna check the skills before the that's and wait no no you can do the no oh <gasps> bamco this is no this is peak recycling 
It's literally like last year's Asuna that got released around the same time as this Asuna. The only difference is that she has Break Yell instead of Charge Yell. Holy shit, Bemko, what were you thinking? Well, at least she has some titties. Oh! <gasps> whoa, 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 I didn't see that one. What is that? Oh, ooh, boy. Okay, fuck Kirito. Okay, Kirito is obviously the better unit, but Asuna's armpit. Yo, okay, I'm gonna roll for Asuna, I'm telling y'all. I mean, I don't really have any cube, so I don't know how I'm gonna roll for her, but we'll see. So, actually, she's not bad. She has Break Heal, and Break Heal is always useful. And she has bonus, uh, like, effect on it. You collection heal plus one, so it's gonna be useful. And then she curse stats. What? What is this? Ew! Yikes, that's disgusting. 2200 attack, I mean, I can understand low attack. But low magic attack? Why? Like, uh, 2150 attack, that's very low, and 2200 attack, that's very low. Both attack and magic attack are very low, and her HP is also very low. Everything is very low, except her speed is above average, a little bit above average, it's not even above average. Um, uh, I don't know how to feel about this one, I mean, you're gonna use her as a support, so it doesn't really matter, but still... Uh, I don't know, like, there are some supports that are very good, like, uh, Earth Elemental Asuna, she has very good uh, damage, like, when I use her incarnate skills, she deals around 100k damage, but this one, you're just gonna use her for support, I guess, and, like, we see her abilities, like, here, she's very good, like, she has uh, AoE heal for all characters, even decline characters, so it's very strong, her assault skill is, uh, kinda useless, cause you're never gonna use it, and, of course, she has recycled animation, quadruple pain, of course, like, I'm waiting for the day, when they release new animations like guys hopefully it comes soon uh, yeah, I told you her stall skill is kinda useless, so let's not talk about it. And her break yell is very useful, especially since she has bonus uh, effect to collection field plus one. Let's check her incarnate, well, it doesn't really matter, cause she does have very good damage, so her incarnate is gonna not gonna do anything. Like, I want them to add, like, maybe support incarnate, where she gives the party a huge buff or something instead of doing an attack, that would be interesting. So, stream pain, that's also a new ability, so new animation, that's cute. Incarnate has to conceal enemy damage increase, yeah, they're very reliant on recollection field like she gets bonus damage on her incarnate if you have uh, high recollection field and it's the same for assault skill so you need uh, some other characters that can do recollection field like i already told you you need the halloween teas if you want to use them to their full potential i guess and her imaginary um, why the fuck do they give her 2200 attack but then they give her an attack increase on her imaginarium like that's not gonna do anything it's gonna be useless like, what the heck? Bamco, <laughs> what the fuck were you thinking? Uh, I'm gonna tell you straight up, like, Kirito is the better unit here. Especially if you have the other Charge Yeller Asuna, I mean, no, not the other, because you only have one Charge Yeller Asuna, I mean, if you have the other non elemental Asuna, so, if you have the Charge Yeller Asuna, you can use this Kirito with her, and you get Active Link, and you don't really need this one. Like, you don't really need this Asuna, because her stats are bad, uh, I don't know, but Kirito is very good, he's a very good uh, breaker, especially since he has emote and all, so, go for Kirito, but if you want uh, Y2 and don't care about gameplay, and want armpits, go for Asuna, uh, I'm not gonna go for any of him, because I don't really have any cubes, I'm gonna stay for Valentine's event, so, uh, I might do one step and that's it, um, what else do we have, ah yeah, we have new uh, event, hold on, I'm gonna show you, like we have the cross over event but like when i heard crossover event the first time i thought we were gonna get a huge event and shit but it's actually nothing it's just like the old event with powerful bosses and that's it so it's kind of cringe i might upload a video about it if i manage to clear it but i don't know like it's crossover between seo md seo ars and the seo if so the three mobile seo games and actually that reminds me that i need to play seo if like i really want to start it but i'm kind of lazy like i might upload content about it well if you guys are interested then tell me in the comments and we have some more stuff maybe hold on ah yeah we have the new gacha banner uh it's kind of bait like uh, i did one step uh actually i recorded the video for it but uh, i lost the footage so that's kind of cringe i mean i didn't get anything interesting from the banner in the first place so that's really better but it's kind of bait but at the same time it's kind of tempting because you can get these units like if you go up to the third step because you have guaranteed four star at the third step you are going to get one of these units and they're all very good especially the asuna i think uh, toward the front lines asuna progressive asuna is very good so all these units are very good so if you guys have some spare cubes like you need the 500 i think to do it or no i think you need more than 500 
uh, wait, 125, 250, 250. You need 625, I think. Look, I'm not good with math, but if you have a lot of cubes or if you're a whale, then it might be good for you to go for this banner. And uh, that's all I have to say to you. Also, remember to subscribe to the channel for more SEO errors. Content comment down below with the notification bell, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.